Welcome back, guys, to Factorio, episode number seven. My name is Isto. Today, we're going to continue building this awesome base, the main bus concept, where we bus all of our base ingredients and all our finished goods horizontally from the right to the left on parallel conveyor belts, and we peel them off north and south to build more things as we, as we uh, gain space. But we have a problem. We're out of space. We need to expand again, so it's time to push this wall out. However, we, we do have an issue here, and that is that we're limited to these supplies. This is what's left from the old temporary base. And until I get enough of the, the, the stuff rebuilt, we're limited to what we can make. So I have exactly 100 laser turrets. 100! And I can't make any more until we reset up the oil production system. You can see there's a wave of biters coming. They're going to get killed. Let's watch. Oh, they're already dead. We weren't even quick enough. We can't make laser turrets until we can make batteries, which takes some oil production stuff. And for that, we need more space. The oil production is going to be right down here in this section here. So we need to expand again. And we need to kill a lot more biters. I've got exactly 100 laser turrets. I've got a lot of stone walls already made. So what I think we'll do is we'll push the wall to the left. 50 blocks, 50 lasers. Let me just make a little gap here. So we'll push it this way, 50 blocks worth. Actually, I don't really need the wood at this point. So let's do this. Bam! That's much more satisfying. Have you ever shot a tree with a shotgun? I have. Okay, so we need to go this way, and we need to kill the aliens as we go. I think I'll start the wall here. That's probably fine. And this wall, uh, we may eventually expand north as well, but this wall won't move for a while. So I'll go ahead and double it up. Put the turrets in. Like so. And then lay out enough of these guys to power all of them. And then put a light in every other power pole there. And rinse and repeat. And let's see how far that gets us. Uh, not very far. 34 left. <laughs> I've gone almost halfway already. 17 left. And there's a lot of trees right here. Once we get the next weapon upgrade, there's a, uh, a combat shotgun, an upgrade to this weapon we'll get, which is basically, at least in the current version of the game, it is the end game personal weapon of choice. Uh, and it fires much faster, and it, it destroys the trees much, much faster. Out of here, tree. Okay, so we've got 17 more. You can't see, can you see how many you have? Maybe the cursor shows you. Oh yes, it does, okay. Six more. Two, one, zero. Okay, let's just make sure they're powered in case any aliens come running in. So there's the edge of the wall. How much space did we just get? A decent amount. Okay, we'll be able to make a decent amount of stuff here. And then we'll move the other wall directly to the left, but I think since I have the the turrets on me now, I think I'll start moving the wall down from here. Let me clear out some trees. Oh, this is gonna be so much faster later on. Not quite as exciting as killing the aliens. But there is, let's see, there's a little base right here. Should we go see if we can take them on? Here, let me go ahead and put a put an edge on the wall like that. And then I need some lights. And we will daisy chain. Uh, I'm gonna daisy chain the uh, the power lines out there. Let's blow a hole through this forest. Zoom out a little bit. Get a little more overall perspective. I just basically I just want to path through the forest. So we can run up there easier. 
And then I'll use these. I guess I need to put one of these down here. There we go. Then we should be able to do those every 30 blocks. That's not a lot. That's not connected. There we go. And it's very dark. So that means without sunlight. Oh, there's some guys. Okay, I need to put them here. Ah, I'm stuck. Uh, it is possible, by the way, to get completely cornered by the aliens and unable to move. So you really have to be careful. If you get in the middle of a huge group of them, not to get trapped. I thought maybe I could uh, just run up there, but it looks like we were fairly close. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do some of these. That might help, might help a little bit. There we go. There's also an item we can make eventually called night vision goggles. Oops. Shoot. Connect, please. There we go. There we go. There's an item called night vision goggles, which uh, lets you see in the dark. However, I find the night vision goggles really distracting to use because it makes the whole screen bright green. <laughs> really, really bright green. Um, yeah. Let me just make sure I have the correct weapon selected. Oh, we killed it. Hooray. All right, that was, that was easy. So let's break this down. Oh, there they go. <laughs> I'm used to the sound now. It doesn't startle me quite as much as it did. There, that was pretty quick. I guess I didn't need to put down the walls that time with only the, the single base. So let's go ahead and bring this down. And I may set up a temporary, some kind of uh, <laughs> short-term solution just to make turrets. Because we're going to need a lot of them. And if we have them, if we're making them, it will be quite easy to expand. Without them, it'll be much more difficult because as we make more and more pollution, we're gonna get attacked more and more. And the more aliens we kill and the longer we spend in the world, the more the, the evolution factor is going to increase. And eventually we're gonna start getting the big biters who are quite a bit tougher. They have a lot of armor and they can take tur turret fire quite a bit more while they attack the, the walls. So, 100 turrets, I've got 16 left. This is how far I've pushed the wall out. And I decided probably the best thing to do is to make another little setup here. I left these tanks here full of heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum gas. I had about 1,200 petroleum gas. I did some quick math, and I think I can get about two, 200 to 250 or so uh, turrets out of that much petroleum gas. So I've got the petroleum gas and some water going into this chemical plant that is making sulfur. It takes water and petroleum gas. You see the water is coming from this guy right here. This pump is going up here and then to the left. He's supplying this guy as well. The chemical plant making sulfuric acid with iron plates, sulfur, and water. And I've brought up some iron from my mines, from my mining operation. Uh, I meant to bring it in equal numbers. I think, did I? Ah, it's close enough. So the, the sulfur is being turned into sulfuric acid, and that is being made to make the batteries with iron plates, copper plates, sulfuric acid. So for now, I'm just gonna bring iron and copper, oops, bring iron and copper up here. This is gonna make batteries. And I'm already producing everything else we need for the turrets. Well, I'm not producing steel, but I had some saved up. So hopefully this should be a, a good enough stopgap for us to be able to expand the base and put in the, the more permanent oil distribution and processing center down where our wall is. Okay, one more short little clip, then we'll get back to the base building. So we're gonna be emptying out the petroleum gas here, making the batteries, and then I won't have to worry about piping this petroleum gas all the way to our new oil setup. 
which will save me a little bit of hassle. We'll still have these guys, though. I've got 5,000 light oil and 5,000 heavy oil. I decided uh, I may as well make them easier to transport. And what I can do is I can change them into solid fuel. So I can basically get, uh, per one light oil, I can get a solid fuel, and per two heavy oil. So I can get 7,500 solid fuel, and each solid fuel, you can do things like run your steam engines with it, and they are three times as efficient as normal coal. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start with the light oil, and I'm just gonna sit, I'm just gonna leave this here and let it sit and do its thing. I don't care if it's slow. Uh, eventually, it will get the job done. And I may have to uh, do something like replace the chest or something eventually. Because this will definitely fill up. I'm not sure how many this will hold. Um, steel chests hold 48 stacks. And each stack, I don't, I'm not sure how big of a stack the solid fuel goes up to. But there we go. That's going to start draining the light oil. And once it's done with the light oil... I'll pick up the tanks and extend the pipe over to start using the store the uh, the heavy oil, and I'll switch this recipe to the other one. All right, so I'm back up to about 100 turrets. Actually, I'm about to be at exactly 100 turrets. And while I wait for the rest of the batteries to craft and some more steel to smelt, we have a problem. We have a ton of biters here, and they're kind of in our way. We need to clear them out. And I think 100 turrets will hopefully do it. If you zoom, if I zoom out here, you can see all of these nests. I see a few, let's see, I see a few small worms. I don't see any large worms. There are a ton of guys here, though. So we're going to need a lot of turrets. I may even start with these guys to help thin them out. Um, instead of using the big electric poles. I can start with a huge grouping of these, because they're going to run right at us as soon as they see us. And there were a ton of them there. Okay, let me just do that. We've got... Let's see, what's going on over here? Okay, nothing. no big deal. Okay, so there's that. Let me put in a large electric pole so I can leapfrog a little bit more. Oh, here they come. Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! They're coming! Okay, quickly now. More turrets. They're dead. They're dead. Okay, good. That was wave one. That won't be the end. Uh, I'm going to use a lot of turrets, and I'm going to overlap their coverage quite a bit. Because otherwise, all of these guys... Uh, we might get overwhelmed. There we go. We're taking out their bases now. Okay, let's go this way a bit. Oh, man. We're in the weeds. We're in the, we're in the business. Go get them, guys! Yeah, provide them so many opportunities, so many targets, they won't even think to go after... Oh, my, oh run this way. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Okay, another one. Yeah, take that, copper! I mean, aliens! Take that, aliens. My shield is running low. Uh, so I'm going to have to be a little more conservative in just a minute here. Oh, we've taken out a lot of them, though. Oh! Okay, there goes the last of my shield. Run! Tree got in the way. Get that shield out of there. Okay, yes, I'm taking... Oh, it's nighttime now, too. Okay, so my shield is going to stop regenerating. Or it seems like it's about to be nighttime. Yeah. Lights turned on. Lights turned on. Be careful with the shields, guy. Let's get some light. Okay, what did we do? Ooh, we did a lot. Okay, let's keep going, though. Uh, but be careful. Give that a quick wall. Excellent! I may lose a few turrets here and there. In fact, I'm sure I've left, lost several. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, let's come over here and add one here. I think these turrets here are getting overwhelmed maybe a little bit. And let's add some lights each time we expand a bit. It's nighttime! My... Oh, I'm out of turrets. Okay, <laughs> I gotta back up. Oh, I'm probably gonna lose a bunch of those, too. Uh, we probably... I probably am safe to cannibalize this section. Only brought 100. I thought that would be plenty, but I guess not. Uh, with as thick as I needed to put them on the ground. And that one I put down over there is probably goner. It's probably a goner. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
There we go. Take that! Just leapfrog. Oh, I'm real close to death. Okay, put a wall in and run away. Wall and run away. Wall and run. Wall and run. Okay, run away. Put a light in. Put some lights. It's dark. Need to be able to see. Okay, now zoom out. Oh, this this one turret is hitting that guy. And let's see. Oh, we've taken out a lot of them. Sweet! But I can't really do much until the daytime. I think we've held them. Okay, let me back up. While it's night and I can't really do anything else, one thing I can do, I can repair turrets and I can pick up some of these back rank ones. Oh, okay, I just lost some turrets there. I should probably reinforce this forward base here. That guy's not going to do anything. Um, okay, repair. Repair. Repair all those. Repair these. And let's pick up these ones. Good. And probably a few of these. Okay, okay. Repair some more. There we go. Oh, daylight's coming, which means my shield is recharging. It's recharging as we speak. Those are the big guys right there. Did you see that guy? Those are the big ones. All right, that guy's gone. Oh, there's a lot of them there, though. Okay, uh, we're going to need more turrets against those things. Those guys are... Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, let's repair all the things. Repair all the things. And I'm out of turrets again. There we go. Okay, how much did we destroy? There's still more to go. Let's back up. Repair some of this stuff. Whoa, okay. Okay, game. Pick up more. Leapfrog. Once again, maybe I should have come with more than 100 for a nest of this size. No, you don't. Trying to destroy my turret. I see what you're doing there. Oh, are those the big... Big spitter. Okay. Man, that's taking a lot of damage. Okay, we need to add some more turrets for our defense. There we go. Okay, so they're mostly being held. Now I need to start advancing again. For that, I'm going to need a decent amount of turrets because we're taking so much damage. Uh, yeah, I think I can probably... Let's repair this guy. I've probably picked up at least a few that are damaged. There's a few exploded craters in the ground where we lost some. Uh, okay, and there's still a little bit to the south, but I think this amount of turrets will be fine to hold that. These two lines here. I hope. <laughs> I hope that's the case. Okay, let's go build another line. I've got... Oh, look at all these broken ones I picked up. Okay, we'll repair those later. And let's repair the, the turrets here. This guy's about to... He just, oh, I just saved him from utter destruction. Okay, we need to destroy some of these nests. If we can have less of these nests here, that would help a lot. Okay. Oh, gosh, repair everything. Are we shooting the bases? Yeah, we killed some bases. Okay, good. That means we'll be fighting less at once. So, let's have another one here. Yes! Oh, we're making progress. I got to be quick enough, though. In fact, let's get some of these going to help out. And I'm running low on repair packs. Uh, let's see if I can craft some while we're doing... Yes, I can craft some. Good, because we're going to start running low. And then I need to pick up some of these, leapfrog them. Okay, leapfrog again. Oh my, yes, do your work. Good little combat buddies.
Okay, repair. The more I repair... Oh, we lost a turret here. That's not good. But the more of these nests we destroy... Oh, we're getting close. Okay, let me take up all these. Leapfrog them. This is going to be a lot of alien goo to make some endgame stuff with later on. Uh, in my previous games, for reference, I haven't done this much fighting this early. Ever, basically. Alright. This the walls. Yes! Okay, now we're in the business. Let's get in here. And help him out. Okay, run away! Run away! <laughs> Let's repair some more. It's nighttime again. But I think we've mostly done it. We've just got a few left to advance forward. Uh, oh, and I, I guess I wasn't putting down lights during the day. Let's make sure we can see. So we've got the uh, the big spitters and the big biters spawning now, which is fantastic news. Uh, that means now that when we get attacked at our base, they're going to be the ones coming for us. They do a lot of damage. They have a lot of armor. So that will... Well, we'll just have to watch our fences a little bit closer, is what it really means. And that may be just that. What's up, up? Take that! Yes! Oh, we did it! We did it! Look at all the alien goop on the ground! That's what I wanted to accomplish. And now we can expand the base. I think I will expand it out to about here. And take this whole section here. That'll give us a lot of room for oil. Uh, I'm also going to kill these guys, and probably these guys, and maybe these guys. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, our home base is under attack, but I think it's going to be okay. All right, the wall is about to be finished. Well, at least until we need to expand again. But this should hopefully last us a little while. We at least have enough room now to do some oil manipulation. Let me just see. Can they... Okay, I wanted to make sure they wouldn't be able to run through this little section here, but doesn't look like they can. I haven't killed these guys yet. These are our new annoying neighbors that we're gonna have to kill soon. But otherwise, we've got this whole new section here that uh, in just a second will be totally protected. We'll have to run down here every once in a while to repair, repair a turret or a section of wall. Uh, but, but besides that, I mean, we should be safe and secure. We can set up our oil stuff in a much more uh, functional, efficient, streamlined manner. We have a lot of space to do that with now. Look at all this. And yes, I will use all this space. Don't worry. We also got a few more crude oil patches that we can use. Why is this thing here? I don't know why that was there. Maybe a, a remnant of an earlier expansion. This little bit can get taken down. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to place a... Maybe like nine of these things here, so I can start accumulating crude oil. You can see I'm rotating each one 90 degrees. Uh, you need to make sure their little input-output valves here line up. Otherwise, I don't think they will... I don't think they will share fluid. So if I just do that, let's... Um, let me take out a little bit of this. so that I can find the best route to bring the oil down through. And destroy some of these guys. Okay, so where is my oil? My oil is over here. There it is. Um, you know what? I want it to be as low as possible. So that it doesn't run into too much of this stuff. I left myself some room here so I can expand these later if I need to. So tell you what, let's go backwards. Let's go back over here. And let's say we're going to take it from here. Okay. So this is, that's the last point I can do right there. There, okay. 
Oil's going to come down through there. And then I want it coming, I think, th through here. Can I make it all the way through there? I bet I can go underground there, but not... Oh, it's, it's right here. What's the lowest point that we can have this connect? I bet right about here is probably good. Yes, right about there. Okay. So I'll just leave that there as a reference. That connects. Okay. Can I reach this all the way over to here? No, that's too long, so we'll need another section. Okay, that connects. Now that is connected. That's the wrong piece. There we go. We're almost there, and the furthest this guy can go is right there. Uh, which means we need to make it bend, so let's do this. All right, we are about to be drilling for oil once again. There it goes. So all that should be going over here to our oil tanks. Now, eventually, we're going to get something which is kind of similar to an inserter, but useful for pipes. Let's see, can I craft them yet? I think I can. These things. Small pumps. These are kind of like inserters in that they, they make the liquid go, or the gas, go in one direction only, and you replace basically a, a section of pipe with a pump. So we can have it so that the oil only goes in this direction. And that will take, because we're using so many pipes to get here, uh, that will keep our oil accumulated here. Otherwise, it's going to want to equalize. It doesn't even seem... doesn't even see... Maybe it's not connected. Or maybe there's just not enough in the system yet. Let's Let's run back here. And make sure we did everything properly. So this has crude oil, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, I, this doesn't connect. That, that section is too long. All right. I skipped a step. There. Okay, there it goes. Now our stuff should start filling up. And we are going to set up our refineries. There we go. Um, this guy is rotated wrong. See what I said about if you don't rotate them right... They won't leak up. Could have sworn I rotated all of them correctly. Now they're all full. Okay, that I did that on purpose. That was an illustration of how they work. Now they're filling up, and we are going to set up our oil refineries. And then we're going to have a similar system of tanks for the, uh, the petroleum gas, the light oil, and the heavy oil. I'll also start mining up this, so I need to take this into account. Leave a space here in my, se in my setup. And we're going to leave a ton of space in the middle uh, because we're going to be doing other things in the future like turning heavy oil into light oil and light oil into petroleum oil. So we need spaces between our tanks to allow for those things. We just got attacked here. Okay, but yeah, we seem to be doing fine. So we can definitely set up at least uh, all the oil stuff we had already done but in a much more efficient manner in all this new space we have. We can also continue laying out our main base here and making more stuff. And next time we should be able to get back to researching things because we will be able to automate production of Science Packs 1, Science Pack 2, and hopefully next time we'll get all the way to making Science Pack 3s. It may take us a couple episodes to build all the stuff because we have to automate smart inserters and advanced circuits. And we are going to be making them faster so we'll be able to research things in a, a, more, a, a more efficient, quick manner. Okay, that's it for this episode, though. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Leave your comments below. Uh, I'll continue to tailor the series based on how well uh, the, the information I'm trying to convey is coming across. Also, let me know, uh, what do you like the best about the series? You want to see more alien killing? More elaborate setups? I, we're going to be doing all that, so... <laughs> Whether you like it or not, we're going to be killing aliens and making elaborate setups. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.